please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest update and videos let's move to the next question next question is related to your copy file from one location to another location and also do some changes in the ownership of the file so let's understand the question first and then we'll move to the lab session what it is asking it is asking you have to copy the file that is etc fs tab into web tab directory and configure the permission of this file so that the file this is owned by root user and belongs to a group root and it should not be executable by anyone so the first requirement is that you have to copy the file from this location to that location and you have to change the ownership ownership would be your root user and group would be root root so this is very simple we can achieve this and apart from that they are asking like uh, no other user should able to execute this so we'll check the permission of that file next is that first do this then we'll move to the next part otherwise we'll confuse so what they are asking they are asking there is a file etc fs tab this is the file and they want it should be copy always better to preserve the permission so this location they want after that what they want let's see the permission on this file okay now what they want they want that to, it should be owned by root the user would be root and group also root so we have the command chown root root and this one where tab fs tab okay you can see that this and this it is showing all all that was already showing this one but they are asking you so you have to fire this command okay and one more thing it should not be executable by anyone you can see that with the permission nobody can execute this so first part has been done with two commands first copy and second this command the second is the user andrew is able to read and write to this file now they have specifically defined a user so if it is asking for specifically any user then you have to go for the acl okay so how we can this achieve this id andrew they are asking we had already created andrew in the last few lectures so set fcl is a command hyphen m user andrew should have read and write permission to this file where tam first tab should have read and write executable the user suzan can neither write nor read to this file so they have asked one more condition here that the user suzan suzan can neither write or read to this file so again we have to use the set official on the set official and am user now user would be suzan and we do not have any permission for this user to this file if you see the permission on the file you can see that others have read permission others means apart from root or the groups anybody have any users existing on the system should have the read permission but i want that the users from the others as well specifically suzan doesn't have any access to the system so you have to fire three dash means you are not going to give any access to the system how you can verify this it's very simple you have to use set official and give this where term and fs tab so you can see that suzan doesn't have and is having this much access okay so if you want to cross check you can cross check with su half and andrew okay and uh, try to write something here where tab fs tab okay sorry vi 
let me clear it out because Andrew is having read write access to this file okay I'm trying to do some changes I can see that Andrew is having read and write access to the system exit let's see let me try for Suzanne okay and uh, let's try to cat this file it doesn't have permission because we haven't specified any permission to the Suzanne so Suzanne doesn't have even read permission right next to none, none permission so friend that's all for this lecture hope you have understand what is the question and how we can tackle how we can resolve the question so that's all for this lecture and if you have time please join with me in the next lecture in the next lecture we'll discuss some more questions thanks bye bye take care